Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope on the day that the Church celebrates the Feast of St. Philip and St. James. I always take this as a feast day. It's St. James the Lesser, and so I figured that should be my proper feast day. But then on July 25th, we have St. James the Greater, the Apostle, and I take him as my feast day too. Now, my Lutheran friend would say, but you're always preaching humility. How can you have two saints? And I would respond to him, it's because I am so errant. I make so many mistakes that I need two instead of just one patron saints. Today's gospel from St. John, even though Philip is very much named here, doesn't necessarily put Philip in a great light. Jesus says to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And then all, all of a sudden, Philip says, Lord, just show us the Father so that we might know, and that will be enough for us. And Jesus says to him, have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? You can hear Jesus' exasperation. Come on, guys. I've been with you so long. You've heard me preach. You've seen the works that I do. You've heard me refer to the Father. Get with it. Quit being so thick-headed. Pay attention that I am with you and that the Father is with you. Open your eyes. As I hear that on this Feast of St. Philip, I wonder if the Lord would say the same thing to us. So many times we complain, is God listening to my prayers? Is God hearing me? I keep asking and asking and nothing is changing. And I think sometimes the Lord would say to us, come on, have I been with you for so long and you still don't see the grace that I've placed within you? Come on, open your eyes and do what you have to do to uncover the grace. Take the steps that you have to take. Take the risks that you have to take. I've been with you so long and I am with you always. Do your part to find the grace that I have planted within you. My friends, I think this feast affords us the opportunity to take time today to ponder the ways that Jesus has introduced God to us. And don't get stuck in our usual patterns and ways of doing things. But reflect deeply on new ways that Jesus reveals the holiness of God right in the middle of our lives. God bless you.